You go dark. You go really dark. Do you go? What's your inspiration with these? Um, the thing is, like, I go dark so that somebody not paying attention to where things are kind of heading in a lot of ways, that maybe they would, um, you know, kind of like have a, a breakthrough moment where like, you know, I try to make the horror, I, I bring up these horrific ideas, but also try to, to, make, to make characters that you, you like and also that, you know, put a little bit of comedy in there um, so it's enjoyable to watch, but there is this, this greater purpose and I'm hoping that some people will, you know, hopefully eventually see these scripts if they're produced and just kind of get what's actually happening that they're just not paying attention. I really feel that a lot of Americans just don't take a moment to be like, how is me not caring about what's happening to somebody else affecting the greater picture? So you're going dark to see the light. Yes, exactly. Like, um, I think that's I, I think that's a way to manipulate the reader or the, the viewer is to like take them to a dark place, but then bring them into the light, like like spinning that darkness into light, and then light into dark in a lot of ways. Now I can tell you're somebody that has a lot. You see stories. That's how you see your art. You see stories everywhere. Do you have any stories that you're working on right now that you're excited about? Um, actually, I am. I'm working uh, on one piece. Um, it is called the Hero because I've uh, pretty much learned that in America, if you do. Take take a stance against um, the structure of everything, like uh, Chelsea Manning for, is an example in Snowden. If you do take the role of being a hero and try to do something good, you end up being prosecuted. So in the script, uh, I am very excited about it. It's, it's only nine pages, uh, but it takes on the privatized prison industry with this woman who is um, uh, you know, put into a very awkward situation where she has to decide on um, entering the prison system to uh, save somebody else because of the money it will generate. It's a really interesting, it's, it's completely fictional, but it just kind of hope, hopefully opens up that door. I think, I've always been a storyteller, I've always, I, I draw, um, I've always been interested in science fiction. That's kind of what brought me in was uh, like just creating these like fantasy worlds in my head. And then they became, uh, you know, as I got older, they became um, like almost something that I can't ignore. It's like a force that I, 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 I get these characters and um, I get these ideas and I get these visions and the only way to really compile them all would be a screenplay, a movie. It is like, you know, both story and visual and um, so I try to put that in there. Um, right now I'm writing specifically to be low budget horror because that's a good way to start. Yeah. And eventually I would like to um, write something very like uh, large scale, big budget fantasy science fiction. Now do you have any horror writers or horror films or TV shows that you're inspired by right now? That you, like you know, I, I, I used to really love American Horror Story. I thought it was really great how it tied together until this season because it's supposed to be political and it is so like tone deaf in every way. And I actually laughed so hard like a couple episodes ago when somebody voted for Jill Stein and the earth shook and there was ominous music happen and I was like, that's, that's comical writing that is not making, like that's just absolutely absurd. And I'm not, I mean, I get what you're saying, but I think that Trump is bad, Hillary is good is not exactly the way to look at it because five minutes of research, you find out that there's a lot more going on with the Clintons than we're told. Uh, so it's, it really is just, research is so important when you're a writer, like research, finding the climate of, you know, what people are, want and, um, you know, really being true to yourself because you have to navigate the different opinions and like really come to your own and then put that on paper. So like research has been like very important to me because if I just watched the evening news and, uh, you know, heard that healthcare, like, uh, you know, universal healthcare was an impossibility. So you find your stories everywhere you look. Everywhere. You find it in the news, you find it sitting in a room, you find it ordering coffee, you find it on the road. Oh yeah, and it's usually, I, I usually probably seem crazy because I'm always laughing to myself because there's just some like crazy you abstract idea and I start laughing and people at work are just like, you know, they, they often stare at me and <laughs> I don't think they quite understand. Mm -hmm.